All right, and continuing from the previous lecture on uh, floors, we're going to be covering ceilings in this one. So again, ceilings, um, just like the floors, are going to be right here in the nav menu. We're going to click on that. Now we have a couple generic um, ceilings to go off of here. Um, currently, there's just the ACT or the tile system. Um, and so you guys will have to go in here, edit this. You will have to change this from a default to another joist. Um, there it is. And then, yeah, wood joist, okay. I got confused on the steel one myself. And then we'll go ahead and leave that as a, um, I guess that's essentially a furring strip, a um, little bit thick. And then um, normal homes aren't going to have acoustic ceiling tiles. So when you guys do this, um, I do want to see um, at least for kind of the first three projects, I do want to see you guys do a gypsum wallboard as the ceiling and not just like the generic ACT tile. Um, that's more for office and that's not what we're going to be working with. So, um, oh, I probably should have duplicated this too. So, um, we're going to call this, uh, gypsum ceiling, did I do that? Ceiling, S-E-I, yeah. Okay. So again, I'm going to go in here and leave that as structural. We're going to change this to joist. And we're going to change this to gypsum. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hit OK with that. That's all fine. Apply. OK. All right. So when we're placing the ceiling we're obviously going to be doing it in a slightly different location than the floors and so that makes it a little bit harder to see so here in this 3d view i'm going to actually take this just so we can see what's going on i'm going to drag this down um, and let's actually get all of these real quick to make this uh maybe good exterior this is just so we have something visual to look at here. Make sure these are all facing the right way too. They're not. So we'll flip them around in the right direction. Um, you can hit spacebar in addition to also just doing the little clicks on the arrows there. So we have this space right here. Um, let's change this to no. God, that's really hard to see. Um, there we go. Let's do that. It's not going to be great. Don't use this regularly, but it'll work for this. So um, in order to place the ceiling, again, I'm going to go to the same menu here for ceiling, and then I'm going to go to level one. Now, ceilings assign themselves to the floor that they're assigned to, just like floors. So if you build a floor on level one, it's going to default itself to the base of level one. When you build a ceiling, it's going to have a height offset right here, height offset from level, and the default's going to be eight foot. You can change this at any time. Um, and Revit does have this nice feature for automatic ceiling. So if I go into my level one over here, and oh, it's not going to let me right now. Let's put this back up to zero. I'm thinking it can't find that space right there. Um, okay, so ceiling, automatic ceiling, and you see that there's this little tiny orangish strip, salmon color even, that goes around there. So the nice thing about Revit is it does an automatic ceiling for you. So if I click in here, um, it's going to draw it, but you don't see that it draws it because I had to make that solid. Um, but you are going to get this notification. Some of you have already kind of talked with these about, um, but keep an eye down here. Uh, watch for any pop-ups because this is going to tell you stuff that's going on in your model. And in this case, it says none of the created elements are visible in the floor plan. Why is that? Well, I'm doing a floor plan view of level one right now but it's a floor plan view so it's not going to show the ceiling and if we go to the ceiling plan view you can't really see anything there because it's just it's a texture that's on that space so when you are placing floors when you assign them to that level you are often going to or you're always basically going to get this pop up just be aware that this has popped up and keep an eye out for any other ones that pop up while you're working because this will tell you things that are going on in your model and help you figure out what's going on okay you will run into issues with these at some point during the semester, I guarantee it. So um, that first one's placed. Um, let me go back into the ceiling menu. We'll go to level two. And same thing, I can place it right in here. I get the same pop-up um, alert warning thing. 
I'm just saying now it's not visible in floor plan level two. And again, for the same reasons it wasn't visible in one. Um, what happens typically if you don't see that message is you sit there and you go click, 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 and you see now I've got five of these warnings and then you come over, you flag me down and you tell me, hey, my ceiling didn't work. And so then I come in here and I pull this wall down and I go, well, you've got a ceiling right here and I delete it and you've got a ceiling right there. So I hit delete ceiling right there. I hit delete ceiling right there. I hit delete ceiling right there because you can see through it. It's the last one. So when I delete it, it completely goes away. So I'll hit undo one time. So that gets me through that stack of invisible ceilings. All right. So um, you can see now that this is what we're looking for, right? We have joists up above, we have a ceiling below, and then there's this little space in between. And for this, uh, for the first project and the milestone, you are going to need to deal with that space in between. So um, we will cover that in the milestone video, but just be aware that that is a thing that you will be, need to be looking for. Now, I I covered it very briefly in one of the other videos, but just to recap on this as well, um, we do have a level three. We haven't generated a ceiling plan for it. So if I go to view and then we choose reflected ceiling plan, again, here's the level three that I don't have a ceiling plan for, um, and I can generate it with this. There's not going to be much to show on there because we only have two levels and no ceiling for this top level. So. Um, Again, just remember, these are using the same system that you are using in the floors and walls, uh, just slightly modified, so it's more similar to the floors themselves than it is the walls. Um, but you do have to keep in mind that kind of all this just works really similar. Um, you even have the ability uh, to adjust that height offset. So again, by default, you get that height offset at eight foot. Well, what if I want nine foot? Easy enough change. Um, and that ends up with a slightly smaller gap. Actually, that might be, yeah, super tiny gap. Or I think that's exact because this is 10 and 3 quarter with a half inch. Yeah, so actually I think there's a quarter inch overlap. Yeah, you can see a tiny quarter inch overlap right there. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do that for every ceiling, um, but it is going to be something that you will be working with as well. Um, throughout this class. So just be prepared for that. So um, that's going to cover the video that we have on the ceilings. Again, they're very similar to um, to walls, or sorry, to floors. So if I was to, um, again, just to show that they use the same system, if I was to draw a hole in it and apply that, you can see that the ceiling now has a hole in it. So Keep in mind that that is also an option, and again, we'll be kind of covering some stuff that is close to that or adjacent to that entirely. Um, so that covers uh, ceilings, and we will come back and do a quick one on roofs real quick here um, using this same model.